All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start. Uh, for those that don't know me, my name's Michael Babker. Uh, just a little bit about me, I'm a Juma junkie. Been uh, working with Juma for the last couple of years. Uh, do bug squad, write my own extensions, do all sorts of stuff. I mean, I couldn't even keep up with what I do anymore. That's how much I do. Uh, my day job, I'm a soldier in the United States Army. I do uh, computer work there. Been doing that for about seven years. Uh, it's, it's fun. Stressing sometimes, still fun. Uh, finished my college degree back in December, uh, Associates of Arts and Information Technology. Plan on going back and doing my bachelor's once I move back to the States. And uh, I love to travel. I mean, being in the Army, it's given me a lot of opportunity to see, what, I think a dozen or so countries now. So it's been fun. Uh, looking forward, what we're going to talk about here in the next you know, half hour or so. We're going to look at uh, some of the code changes that have come about in Platform 12.1. We're going to look at uh, code that we've retired out, uh, basically legacy classes that have been completely removed. This should be no surprise. A lot of this was announced to, that it's going to go away when uh, 1.6 was released. Uh, we're going to look at code that uh, we're getting ready to retire, uh, basically what we now know as the legacy tree. And uh, we're going to look at some of the new features that have come in with Platform 12.1. Um, first, just some numbers that have come about with uh, the Platform 12.1 work over the last four months. Uh, there's been about 1,000 commits on the platform uh, done in 340 pull requests. Uh, those pull requests came from 51 different contributors. And all in all, about 96,000 lines. This includes the uh, documentation on the developer site and the uh, unit test suite have been changed in the last four months. Uh, just some general changes that affect uh, the platform and CMS overall. Uh, we've dropped support for PHP 5.2 completely. Uh, the now, now the minimum supported version is PHP 5.3.1, and that's because of a uh, bug in 5.3.0 for the uh, language processing. Um, a lot of work has, done, has been done to break away from using our legacy J error and uh, the database get error methods. And a lot of that's been converted over to using PHP's native extent or exceptions. So you're going to need to start catching those as you start working on uh, Platform 12 and CMS 3.0 code. Uh, MooTools has had the 1.2 compatibility layer dropped. So your MooTools JavaScript is going to have to be compatible with the current version. Right now we have uh, 1.4.5 in the platform. Uh, a lot of classes have had their uh, dependency on JObject broken. For developers, this means that a lot of the uh, methods in JObject that, that were available are no longer going to be available. Uh, there's a uh, long list that's available on the docs site. We have a, a document which has a lot of this information about breaking the backwards compatibility between Platform 12 and CMS 3, going back to CMS 2.5 and Platform 11. And then the last thing, the uh, DS constant that's been in the CMS and platform for some time has been completely removed. Um, if you still need to use the DS constant, you can use PHP's directory separated constant if need be. Uh, we're going to start getting into the retired code now. All in all, we've only removed uh, five classes total from the platform. J parameter, J element being the big ones, and the CMS, uh, the J element children have been pulled out in the 3.0 branch that Reuven's been maintaining. Uh, J HTML image, it was just a little uh, utility class. Both its methods were replaced by another uh, image method, so we removed the empty class. J pane being replaced by J HTML sliders and tabs, and J simple XML. Uh, we're working to break away from our uh, Joomla extended instances of simple XML uh, objects. Uh, these next couple slides we're going to get into are where a lot of the backwards compatibility changes are made. Um, the big ones dealing with uh, extensions are the support for the uh, install root tag has been completely removed. 
in favor of the extension root tag, which was introduced in 1.6. Uh, this change alone is going to prevent you from creating uh, native packages that support CMS 1.5, 2.5, 3.0, so forth and so on. Um, we've removed the code that automatically loads the uh, files that didn't use the uh, MVC structure, such as admin.content.php, toolbar.content.html.php, those types of files. If you wish to keep using them, though, you're going to have to uh, load them on your own. Uh, the plugin file structure, which was used in 1.5, is no longer supported. Uh, in 1.6, it was changed so that each plugin goes in its own folder within the uh, group folder, whereas in 1.5, each plugin file was just in that big group folder. Um, legacy support for modules that didn't have the mod underscore prefix is no longer present. This was a uh, CMS 1.0 legacy feature. Um, going with the install root tag, the com install and com uninstall uh, install script methods have been removed. Uh, these are replaced by the script files that were introduced in CMS 1.6. And lastly, this one affects uh, language extensions only for those who distribute them. Uh, support for client both in the root tag has been removed. Uh, the, prefer yeah, the preferred method now is to do a single extension for each the site client and the admin client. And if you wish to distribute both of them together, do a, a package extension with both of those in it. Um, in JFactory, we've removed the get XML parser method. Uh, this is replaced by get feed parser for uh, RSS feeds. There was no direct replacement for other XML types. Uh, all the underscore create methods were replaced by non-underscored methods. And uh, in the create document method, there existed support for a 1.0 legacy feature, the uh, no HTML parameter in the URL. That has been completely removed. So uh, what this changes in create document is this par parameter used to allow you to get a J document raw instance. Now you can only get a J document HTML instance. In the uh, access package, we've uh, deprecated uh, J access's uh, get actions method. Uh, two new methods have uh, come about as its replacement, uh, get actions from file and get actions from data. Get actions from file is going to try to load your uh, access.xml file, for example, and try to parse that. And get actions from data will work directly with a six simple XML object. In the uh, legacy application package, this is referring to legacy J application, the legacy MVC structure. Uh, we've moved, removed a couple of methods. Uh, J application helper, the get path and the check path methods were the methods that supported loading those non MVC uh, admin.content.php type files. Uh, J controller, the authorize method was replaced by authorize with an S. Uh, and uh, set access control was a uh, legacy uh, CMS 1.5 method for uh, ACL, replaced by J access, obviously. Uh, the database package, we've removed numerous methods as well as it being uh, refactored quite a bit during platform 12.1 and uh, we'll get into this refactoring a little bit later. Um, on the screen is just a handful of the methods that were removed with direct replacements. Uh, some of the other ones that were removed, the add quoted, has UTF, explain, is quoted, and uh, query batch methods. And uh, these don't have direct replacements. Um, the uh, get error num, get error message, and the std err methods, which have also been deprecated, are still present with the legacy J database uh, classes, and or will probably go away once that legacy class goes away. In the HTML package, we've removed a few methods. The first two were uh, methods that used to uh, call in the JavaScript framework. Those were replaced by JHTML behaviors framework method. Uh, in JHTML grid, the access method, which used to let you uh, change the access by clicking it in CMS 1.5, that was removed since it did not work with the new ACL. And the uh, JHTML list, the access method was replaced by JHTML accesses of uh, own methods. Uh, the category method is replaced by JHTML category. And uh, the specific ordering method is replaced by ordering. In the log package, we've removed the uh, add entry and get instance methods. 
Uh, replacing get instance is uh, JLog's add logger method. You have to uh, you have to start your own logger this way instead of uh, just getting an already a present instance. And then uh, the add entry method tied in with this old uh, get instance type uh, processing, and uh, that was replaced by the add method. Uh, J utility we pretty much removed everything but one method. Uh, the array unshift ref and uh, dump methods don't have any direct replacements in the API. Get hash and uh, is WinOS are static methods in the legacy J application class. Uh, get token is now handled in J session. Uh, the return bytes method, you use JHTML number, the bytes method there. And uh, send mail and send admin mail are now handled by the J mail class. Um, elsewhere in the utilities package, uh, we actually moved JDate to its own uh, package, and we moved a couple methods there dealing with uh, legacy support. Uh, set offset dealt with CMS 1.5's handling of the time zones. Uh, you have the to format method, which uh, handled some of that formatting. That's been replaced by the format method. And uh, to MySQL is replaced by to SQL, and it was uh, rewritten a little bit to be more database agnostic once we started introducing the new drivers. All right, we're going to look now at uh, some of the legacy classes. These are uh, what's now in the uh, library's legacy tree on the uh, platform. It's a uh, collection of CMS-specific and uh, some of the legacy classes that we've been uh, transitioning away from that for the most part, have been uh, moved away from in the platform, still some work in the CMS, but they're going to remain present in the API to give developers a little bit more time to ease that transition. Uh, it's mainly going to affect the CMS 3 series and CMS 4. A lot of those uh, legacy classes will have gone away or moved over to the CMS, which will be transparent to developers. Um, Included in the legacy tree, you've got the legacy MVC structure, J controller form, J model admin, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you've got the package specific exceptions, which are uh, we're moving away from looking to use more native PHP exceptions. Uh, the J table content class, which will repla be replaced with the uh, UCM version once it's uh, pushed into the platform. And uh, there's a lot of uh, form fields and HTML helpers that were uh, CMS specific. Those are in the uh, legacy tree for the time being. Um, some of the new features that have come in with platform 12.1, you've got the new MVC structure, which a lot of people are aware of, had a lot of comments about. Uh, J language stemmer, it's basically a port of the uh, stemmer classes that are in the smart search component just we only did the uh, the uh, porter stemmer because snowball we don't even know if it works anymore because it's so old and unmaintained uh, the auto loader was improved drastically um, basically it was uh, worked out a little bit so that other libraries could use the joomla auto loader uh, you could register multiple uh, paths to a single prefix it helps to uh, auto load classes from a certain location first for example um, Christoph uh, contributed a uh, patcher class, which helps to uh, create and work with diffs between files. Uh, we have a new crypt package, which is replacing the J simple crypt pack or class. Uh, it's got a handful of ciphers in it right now, and it's going to help um, move along uh, encryption and decryption in the platform as it's needed. Uh, there's a little bit of support for uh, HTML5 and JDocument now. Basically, what's there right now is just methods to kind of throw a flag saying that HTML5 is being used. So going forward in CMS 3.0, if, if there's a template out there that's not HTML5, they could f say they aren't, and uh, component module developers could alter their output based on that support. And uh, lastly, we've got a, a union method now in the database query class. Uh, this lets you build queries using the uh, union element, and it's supported across most of the uh, databases, as far as I'm aware. Um, earlier, I brought up the refactored database package. 
Um, a lot of work has gone into uh, reworking things, taking advantage of the auto loader, uh, breaking some of the uh, PHP 5.2 support, breaking some of the legacy error support. And uh, this is gonna be another one of the uh, big backwards compatibility things as uh, you move into developing for CMS 3.0 and work, work into support plat or CMS 2.5. Uh, the legacy class J database is now deprecated and it will uh, be removed in platform 13.1. All of the uh, static methods that were in that class are still there with proxies to the new J database driver method. This helps with uh, the transition backwards compatibility. Um, a couple of the features that came in also with this work. Um, the, there's a new J database iterator class, which implements PHP's uh, countable and iterator interfaces, which allows developers to use those. Uh, three new database drivers have gone in. There's a, a generic PDO driver, a, a driver for SQLite, which actually is now the primary uh, driver used for the uh, unit test suite. And uh, the Postgre SQL driver, which had been a work in progress for many months, has uh, finally been uh, implemented in the platform. There's a, a new J database factory class, which has a support to get all of the driver objects, the importer, exporter, query object, driver, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, in addition, the connection handling has been changed out a little bit. It's more of a lazy connection handling. It'll only connect when it needs to, and it'll try to uh, do a clean disconnection. Um, a little bit of reworking has gone in so that if the connection is dropped uh, unexplicably, it'll try to reconnect uh, instead of throwing errors. And uh, lastly, uh, a little bit of work has gone into uh, allowing for uh, subqueries with the J database query uh, API. Uh, this supports present now in the uh, insert and the from elements. And uh, work will probably go into improving that as we go along. I mean, there's much, much more that could be covered. I ended up talking a little bit faster than I intended. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but like, like I said at the beginning, you, almost 1,000 commits in the last four months, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. Obviously, the best way to see what's changed is to just read the code and go and experiment with it. Uh, some of the things that I've looked at and tried to help uh, with for backwards compatibility have just been by me trying to use the code. But there are numerous resources out there which we try to post this information to help developers in that transition. We've got a uh, page on the wiki which has a lot of this information and a lot more that I didn't even get into. <laughs> The uh, platform uh, release announcement is a good source to look at. It's got every commit listed, and it'll link you right into the uh, GitHub diff. You basically just got to get out there, look for it, and use it. Um, UCM, I'm actually personally not very familiar with. Uh, Elin's got a talk uh, during the weekend, and she's actually used it a little bit. She'll be a lot more familiar with it. Uh, the new MVC, I just started looking at the uh, documents for it, and uh, I was looking at something Lois was looking on to uh, refactor the, uh, GitHub, the GitHub auto uh, pull request program. He uh, did some work to MVC that, and I think that was actually a good example of it. But uh, it's basically the controller is just a single uh, method now instead of uh, multiple methods like our current MVC. Um, I mean, I really don't want to say something and lie. If one of you guys in the back knows a little bit more, by all means, chime in. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, it's, it, it's all newer stuff. It's stuff I just started looking at in the last couple weeks, so I'm not really intimately familiar with it yet. Um, um, when I looked at it a couple days ago, it still showed platform 11.4. Yeah. So it will probably get uh, redone in the next couple of weeks. Um, <laughs> um, I mean, go ahead and do questions. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I mean, here's my contact info. You can find me all over the web. And you know, just feel free to pull me off to the side, talk to me, 
shoot me an email, whatever the case may be. So, hey. The lazy connection for the uh, database handling. Um, there's a c the API will automatically handle that uh, connection handling. Um, I haven't really looked into how the changes impact uh, downstream use yet, but uh, I think there's a couple of ways that you can check to see if the connection's already established before trying to reestablish it, and it'll throw an error if you try to reestablish an uh, already established connection. Um, I, I definitely should have put the live links in the presentation, but uh, on the doc site, there's an article titled Potential Backwards Compatibility ch uh, Changes Between uh, Joomla CMS 3.0 and Platform 12.1, something like that. Uh, we've had the same type of document when we went from 1.6 to 1.7 and 1.7 to 2.5. Um, myself, Reuven, uh, Nikolai, a couple other people have uh, put some notes on that. A lot of these same notes in the slides come from that page. So we got that living document and uh, the platform uh, release announcement for 12.1 is another good one to look at. As far as uh, the CMS right now, nothing big has really changed. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, Reuven's got a uh, branch that he uses to kind of test changes. Uh, the big things he's changed in there are just the check for PHP version support, removing that DS constant, and the J element stuff. Other than that, you know, almost everything's untouched right now. Right. Okay. Yeah. The thing is that during all the time there was no migration path. So I knew that I was using deprecated code, but I didn't have any alternative. Now, right. Um, with these changes, all my code breaks and I have to, to write it. And I was looking at the slides, I have taken the photos because I didn't know where to find this information. And I was thinking to myself, uh, this Christ, I have uh, four components and I have to write half of the uh, code from scratch. Um, why is there no no migration path for the platform after we deprecate something. I mean, uh, try, just try to make our lives a little easier, perhaps. I get where you're coming from, yeah. yeah. Um, as far as the why, I mean, I really can't answer that. Like you said, you know, a lot of that code, it was tagged uh, deprecated in the first platform release. Um, some of the replacement methods didn't come about until very late. I know uh, what J requests uh, check token method is a uh, very popular use. And uh, the replacement for that didn't come about until after CMS 2.5 was released. So I mean, that does make things a little difficult. Um, I think the I think the intention is by the time we get 3.0 released, a lot of that, a lot of what's going to be needed to give backwards compatibility to 2.5 will be in 2.5. So you may not necessarily be able to support all the way back to 2.5.0, but you can say, hey, you know, 2.5.6 is the version that's got the most compatibility with 3.0, and that's going to be my minimum. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could, maybe you could tweet the link to, to the wiki page. I will do that here in a little bit. Anyone else? Ruben. There was talking maybe one suggestion for the extension developers and the Joomla debug plugin. There's actually an option to enable deprecation logging and write a log file to the log folder. 
uh, listing every single call to a function that's deprecated. Um, right now it's a bit annoying because um, it also lists functions there is no replacement for. Like J error, um, yeah. you can be transitioned off the uh, Y is still important at 2.5. Um, so we're probably going to take that out um, for the next release. At least I have the patch. It's good if that's accepted. Um, but there are a lot of good things in there. And um, the CMS is right now pretty clean. It isn't using uh, only a handful of deprecated methods. And so um, it's not your extension of question store to the current trunk. Run the debug a bit option and just see how bad it looks. And um, if you're not supporting 1.5 anymore, it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> And actually, Ruben saying that about JR reminded me of something. Um, there's a switch right now in JR uh, that's turned on in the, the CMS 2.5 bootstrap. Uh, and uh, some, of the, some of the work there is actually, well, let me rephrase this. It's a switch that, uh, if it's turned on, will throw legacy JR notices. But if it's turned off, it will uh, throw exceptions. And uh, I think the biggest use in that is uh, the J database package in CMS 2.5. 3.0, or platform 12.1, uh, that switch isn't checked for at all because of all the refactoring and to break that uh, dependency on the legacy class. So you could check for that switch. That would be your uh, way to do multi-version support using database. So if the switch is enabled, you catch the error. If the switch is disabled, you catch the exception. It, it's, yeah, it's still a little bit of double coding, but. Formally, that concludes this session. Uh, I mean, by all means, if you've got questions, pull me off to the side. Uh, other than that, thanks for uh, listening to me babble. <laughs>